Hi, this is Katie with Badson Design Company, and I'm here at PickMonkey.com to show you how to make a mock-up that you purchase in our shop um, with PickMonkey. So I've already logged into my account, and I'm going to hit Edit option here at the top, and then I'm going to select my computer because that's where my file is. And then we're going to go to our desktop, that's where we have our stored, and select the mock-up that's available in our Etsy shop. Hit choose and it's going to import it in as our background image. So it's already in PicMonkey and it's ready to work with. Now we've got our mock-up image in here and now we're ready to put our design image on top of the mock-up. So what we're going to need is our PNG with our clear background on it. That's what we need to work with in PicMonkey. And to get it into PicMonkey and on our design we're going to go over to the left hand menu here. And we're going to go down to the butterfly, the overlays option. And then we come to this menu and we're going to go to add your own. My uh, PNG file that I want to work with is on my computer. So I'm going to select the my computer option. Uh, we're going to work with the little bro file that's available in our Etsy shop. And we're going to select the PNG that comes with the file. And we're going to hit open. And that's going to bring it in to PicMonkey. Now we're ready to resize it and center it and place it on our mock-up. So here you can just play with it and drag it out or make it bigger or just resize it till it's centered on your mock-up like how it would look once you've actually cut the file and pressed it on your actual product. And over here you can even fade the design to make it look more real and lifelike and to fade it into the mock-up. See if you go all the way down here it makes it too light. So you just want to give it enough fade to make it look like an actual product. So I'm just going to fade it a little bit. Okay so we got that on there and we click over here and that'll go away. And so now it's time to add a watermark. There's a few different ways you can do that in here. You can go ahead and upload one of your own as, as an overlay. You just stay in the overlays, the butterfly tab, hit add your own if you have a watermark on your computer, which we do. We have one on our desktop here, so I'm going to go ahead and import that in. And then we can just scale it down. And we can add it wherever you feel is best on the mock-up. I'm going to put it here and I want to fade it in a little bit to the mock-up. And then you can also go over here and add a simple watermark. You can hit text and add text. And I want to type the name of our company, Batson Designs LLC. And then I'm going to highlight it here. I want to change the font. There's several fonts over here to choose from. Let's just pick one here. And I'm going to change the size of the font a little bit here. And okay, and so we've got our font, and we're just going to place it. I want to place it over our design here, and then I can fade it in. We can change the color to change it to change it to a grayish black color. And then I'm going to fade it a little bit so that we can still see our design. But it's going to be inlaid into the, into the mock-up. And just like you were uh, moving your design around, you can move your watermark around as well right here with all these little tabs. And by watermarking your product, it just makes it a little harder for other shops or businesses to come and steal your photos and try to take credit for your photos and use as their own. So I've added my watermark here and I've also added a simple text watermark that we can add uh, directly here in PicMonkey if you don't already have a watermark made. So now that we have our mock-up um, done with our image and our watermarks we're ready to save it to our computer. So I'm just going to go up here and hit save. And it's going to give you some options here. Um, it already gives you a file name. You can highlight it here and change it. I'm just going to change this one to little 
Bro mock-up. Or you can leave it the default that it gives you. The quality, it gives you Roger, Pierce, or Sean. We're going to select Pierce as our quality. That's the best um, resolution and file size for our needs. And now I'm going to hit save to my computer. And it's going to download it up here for me. And there it is. So we have our design ready to uh, put it on our websites or our Facebook shops or wherever you're selling your product or to show your customer your design is now ready to ship. So I thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, we can be reached at our email, batsondesigncompany at icloud.com through Etsy Conversation or leave a comment below the video and we will answer your questions as quickly as we can. Thank you.